here we go back for another installment so last week I touched on why I like the big sites and I've come to one of our big sites we've probably got I'll have a quick count up and I'll put the number on screen I reckon we got about 35 maybe 40 blokes here although it has been raining so some of them have probably gone home this is a combined brickwork and scaffolding job and it's currently being looked after by number one foreman my little brother Liam <laughs> He's five years younger than me, can you tell? So we'll have a little tour and we'll have a little look around the site and we'll show you how we roll and how we run the big sites and how the combined brickwork and scaffolding service is seamless and benefits our customers. So let's have a little look around the site, shall we? How are we doing? I'm all right, mate, how are you? Not too bad. Nice clean garages, nice clean scaffold. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's go up the ladder. See what we've got. Let's meet the site manager. Now you're going to get all shy now. So James is going to tell James what has been the benefit of this extremely tight program that you've had for with a combined brickwork and scaffolding service that we provide you. All honesty, it's no nonsense. I don't have to combine. I don't have to constantly make phone calls to different scaffolders, different bricklayers. I've got one person I go to. It gets done. It's done on time, and they work together well. Oh, what lovely, James. I didn't pay him to say that. As a genuine, it's been a really busy period here. We've got a really tight program for various reasons on this site, poor ground conditions, etc. And we've got to pull it out of the bag for a client that we've worked very closely with over the years and we're getting it done for them. So a few shortage of materials, which was now resolved. So as you can see, plenty of bricklayers, plenty of scaffolders, uh, plenty of bricklayers over there. And, oh, he's over there now. We thought that gang had rained off, but anyway, they're still here. So we'll do a bit more of a tour and we'll showcase some of our work and the uh, benefits of the combined service. But thanks, James. So no you're worries. gonna be in YouTube Sunday night at five o'clock, so look <laughs> out for it. We run out of briquettes, we got them now, and they're just filling in the um, internal walls so the joists can go on. So we've got one, two, three, four, four sets of joists ready. So we're gonna see some other members of the team. All right, Liam, show them your JSP hat liner, it's custom made. I wear this swimming. <laughs> it looks a bit tight, mate. Yeah. You look like um, Denzel Washington, a white Denzel Washington out of training day. <laughs> <laughs> so in all seriousness, when we're running a big site like this, I really do feel the brickwork combined, the combined brickwork and scaffolding services really is, it, it really comes into its own. And statistics will show from the amount of work we've been winning, on a combined basis show that our customers like it. So hopefully I'll show you a bit of the benefits now. So go and see another gang on this lift. Whenever I see Paul, he's always doing the intricate bits. Why is that Paul? So you can be the only one that can be trusted. Because you're good. Oh and Nick's been Nick's being let loose on some intricate yeah, bits of brick work Paul now. Can actually do this if you want. <laughs> <laughs> So can, what are these called? They are a can, aren't they? That's a can, that's a, that's a can. No, there's a load over there. Yeah, yeah, there's a load on the other scaffold. A cant engineering brick. Uh, Sill brick can be. Sill brick, and what size opening we got there, Nick? This is a 685. 685, so comment on the YouTube, lads. What are we doing? Opening up, tightening up, 685. I bet you screw it up, comment below. <laughs> right, Louis, Louis' second year apprentice as well. Why have you got a shovel in your hand? Labour gone home, where's Martin? Oh, Martin's loading out. Loading out. Martin's loading out. Yeah. Right, your brother keeps uh, messaging me. I will get back to him. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, got he's his, He's got his spot for September. I've just had a lot on lately, mate, but yeah, yeah, fair um, he would be replacing you, mate. Right. <laughs> 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 no, he's doing very well. Louis is. He's doing very well. We yeah. got reviews next week, Lou. So okay. we'll be sitting down and having a little chat. Okay, so you should have an orange yard at because you're yeah. a second year and not a red one. What's going on? I don't know, I haven't received one. No, do you Thanks need some new boots as well? Uh, yeah, I probably will do soon. What size are you? 11. 11, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good job they don't charge per size, isn't it? So, Nick and Paul are on this lift. Uh, where are you going next, Nick? Uh, he's going on a plate lift next, over there. Oh, that's probably what Martin's loading out, is it? That's what Martin's loading out. So, what size opening you got here, Paul? That's 12.50. 12.50. Comment below on the YouTube, what are we going to, what would you do? Open up or tighten up? Don't give it away, Paul. We'll come back and revisit this next week. Uh, on the plate lift next, yeah? Have we got enough blocks for that now? Yeah, oh, to do that, yeah. Today, okay, yeah. all right, so. Stairwell, all protected. A little bit of wind damage. Do you reckon they would pay that? Comment below. Nick, do you reckon we'll get paid if I put a claim in for wind damage? No. No, <laughs> you're probably Honestly, right, mate. I don't think so. No, I won't even bother creating the invoice. Okay. 
So one thing I wanted to touch on is this goddamn debate about profiles and corners. Now profiles are always going to beat corners and I see people commenting on YouTube, oh corners for show, profiles for dope. Well that's alright in your little two and one game. But when you've got 30 men on site, this man here can't be going around setting up profiles all the time. So when I see comments on YouTube about oh you're using profiles, you're probably day work and all this, blah blah blah, it's actually just efficient. So Liam may pull someone off a lift, for example, and go and get him to build a corner on another lift to release a flank so he can keep his men going. So it's actually good use of men, time and resources. But you guys that are just running one or two brickies get away with using profiles all day, every day, and I get it. But guess what? If you ain't laying bricks, you ain't earning no money. So you haven't got no scalability whatsoever, and all you've got is a profitable job. And if you're not at work, you're not earning, and no money's coming in. So think about the scalability factor, and sometimes you might have to have a bricky building a corner to release other work to other people so they can come along and run it in. So take it on board. There's a place for everything in this world, and it's not one size fits all. So let's see some scaffolding, shall we? So we see Martin. Martin's the scaffolding foreman here. He's keep, he, is, he is the jowl that keeps everyone together. Incredible, this man. Any Martin? Sorry, mate. Just say yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Right, Mark? Yeah. So yeah, these yeah, boys, you're saying, yeah. So this block of three here that we're working on is really, really tight for program. They want this in the dry, like rapid. So we've had to really just push in a bit of extra labour here. And um, and get it and get it done and get it built. We got to have joist on next week, which means it's, fr it's Friday today. So we've got to put a second lift brickwork, second lift um, scaffold around it in a few days. Um, bird cage is going in. Block work could do with being higher, but we run out of blocks and we ain't got time to wait. So a little bit of a nosebleeder, unfortunately, but uh, we'll get it done. The blocks are on site now, which is which is great news. There's Rad, he's another one who's uh, joined us to, to train up. And they're basing out a block of two. Look, bringing in the kit. Big Chrissy, look at him with the shades on, look. Here are some of the shades. Here he is. Plus he's got the old Bob Galdoff glasses on, isn't he? Here he is, Chris is an integral member of our team. Hello Chrissy. What you got for us, mate? Smart glasses, mate. Gotta look good, gotta look good. You know one of the Bee Gees? Oh, Chris, cool, <laughs> Chris is the fittest lorry driver in the world. What I'm we got? Still, stillage along? Two, right. Two stillages along. Good lad, good lad. Keep them, fit, keep them filled. There we go, a couple of stillages along. Keep the troops. Good to see him behind the advanced armour, using the steps. This one's loaded out. This type of foundation here requires a sound quilt. So the sound quilt is going in here, which you can see the clips for here, all the way along, little orange things. And then the sound quilt goes on this side over here. And I don't know whether you can notice in this video from here, actually got expansion joints in the party wall as well, which is a bit of a nightmare. They don't require wall ties every 225 because of sound transmission. You have them at every, every 900 centers and you almost ignore the expansion. You don't put a wall tie every course like you would on a traditional expansion. There's Big Jack over there. He's another one that's come through our apprentice scheme. He is now qualified um, and got all his papers and all his tickets and everything. Ted, he's another one of our apprentices, former apprentices. So yeah, so sound quilt, so we'll go in now and go down to 150 below or to, or to the slab basically goes to the floor. and goes all the way through every party wall so that's every party wall on every pair or semi or treble on this site so a little bit fiddly but we'll get it in go to the shop last night 25 quid and i'm going to charge you all right you're going to charge me okay so if you if you um if you stop leaving early i'll pay for it yeah, but if it's raining, what do you want me to get wet? Well, then I'm going to stay up. <laughs> yeah, but everyone... You want to record that. People hey, get wet, they it's catch recorded. cold, and then... Well, they get COVID. Instead to lose half an hour, I'm yeah. going to lose fucking a week probably. Okay, so what I want to know <laughs> is... is <laughs> what is What I want to know is how comes you're the only one that went home that day? Because I'm the, uh, probably the youngest one here. Yeah, you're the youngest one, are you? <laughs> 
So you know what they're going to say on YouTube, Joe? They're going to moan about this straight joint here behind you. What, yeah, what, that's it, what, shows on the yes, what it shows on the drawing. And I'm a yeah. big one for working to the drawing. So why is this, Joe? Explain to YouTube why we've got a straight joint here. Why? Because it's different uh, type of blocks. Yeah? Different type of blocks. So what are these? Yeah, that's seven newton. That's three and a half. You right. want to tell. And that's what it shows on the drawing. It? A straight draw. joint. They yeah. don't yeah. want to tie over, don't they? Yeah. Well done, mate. It's good yeah. to see you sticking to the drawing. Yeah. Now, if you could stick to the hours, we'd be on to a winner, wouldn't we? Yeah. You built them houses over there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, you, oh, 35 oh, years ago. 35 <laughs> years ago. I wonder how many, leak, how many leaks they had on here. One right. thing I would say on here, Joe, is I'd like to see another wall tie in here. Don't put it in now because yeah. it's been no use. I'd like another wall tie in yeah, between yeah. that. I know you haven't broken no rules, but just a wall tie every other course. A couple of glasses, <laughs> didn't they? Okay. Right. Right, sound. Let's go and see some others. All right, check out one. Check out Dave's trowels for all these apprentices around here. Show them the size of your trowel, Dave. Look, tiny. You don't need a great big trowel. And watch the technique on the man. Put a bit of pressure on him now. A bit of rain coming. Don't worry, the camera's waterproof to a degree. Bigger isn't better. Strike at a perch, make sure it's nice and full, clean the bed off. Lovely technique that is, Dave. Laid him one against the frame first, get his perp nice so he knows where he's going. There we go, beautiful stuff. Last one in. Nice little trowel, nice and intricate, lovely. Turk is just turning on the style just for the YouTube video, isn't he? Big Jay sounds down there, he's been with us a little while. Alright, Craig? Craig, here's Harry, here's Murph, here's Pat. We've got Dave, we've got Jace across there. So third lift. Oh look, we've got some profiles up. Here we go, look. Profiles and we've got a little internal profile over there as well, which is good to see. Right Stephen? Hi, how are we doing? I'm alright mate, yeah. I'm alright. So third lift brickwork, let's have a little tour right, around shall we? Expansion joint in the block work again. There is some expansions on the external skin, but not many, ironically. But yeah, they're not great. They have tried to do away with them, but these house types need them in. So we've got to put them in. We've got to do as we told. So profile for taking out this corner. Blake's profile this time round. Let's have a little look what we got around here, shall we? 1675. All right, Patrick. Right, mate. How are you, mate? Yeah, good. You? I'm all right, mate. So here's another expansion joint in the block work. How many have we got in here, Pat? Expansion joints on the block work. One, two, three, two four. Three. Four expansion joints on one detached house. So this is Pat's new invention, his internal profile. He's going to be selling these on YouTube. There we go. Nailed in. Wooden profile. See, we do use profiles. Look, and there's another profile here. Look. There we go. Flakes profiles. That's up, so a quick count up them. So we've got Tim. So let's have a little count up of the men on site. So we got three, we got two and one doing some garages and some garden walls down the bottom. So that's Merch, Cal, uh, Nelly. So that's three. We've got Tim, Steve, and Eric. So that's six. We got seven, eight, nine up there. We've got their labour over there, ten. We've got five on this lift, Liam. Yep. So that's 15, and let's go down here. So we're at 15. Here. So let's go in this plot down here. So we're finishing this plot off down here because we didn't have the briquettes and the blocks, as I've mentioned about eight times previously. So we're currently up to 15 on the site. How many we got in here, Chop? So that's 16. 16, 16. 16. 17. And we got Harry. Harry, 18. Where's Alfie? Over here. 18, 18, so let's count the scaffolds. 15, 19, Mark, 20, Martin, 21, Bradders, 22, We've got Josh, 23. There's a scaffolder, Marrick's missing. we got Marrick missing, he's 20, Marrick's 24. Uh, 24 we've got so far. We've got Alfie over there, 25. Ted, 26, Joe, 27. Fred's there, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and Liam, 34, who counts for three or four men. So, 30, what I say, 34 men, and another one over there, 30, 
Did I count him? No, I didn't count him. 35. 35 men on one site, a combined brickwork and scaffolding package. So, as I said previously, you can't really just have profiles up everywhere, every single time, because that in itself is inefficient. So if you're in a little gang, 100% profiles all the way. But when you're trying to run a big site like this and you've got to be flexible and you've got to jump from one lift to another, sometimes it pays to get a bricklayer building in front, whizzing a corner up and releasing a lot more work. Oh, we, caught, we missed Ted, 36, 36. Ted was in the toilet, 36 men on one site, which is incredible that you can have this volume of men on site and be productive and efficient. The forklift driver is a little bit up, uh, up against it because the other forklift driver has gone home. But, so we've just got to pull it out of the bag for him now. Uh, we've got a, a few supply chain issues, but that's being resolved. So that's why I like the big sites. It can sustain this level of labor. We've got plenty of oversights ready to go. If you want to check out my previous video on the big sites and why I like them, click the video on screen now and I'll see you next time out. Peace and love.